Well, good, wonderful, beautiful morning audience. Last night was as cold as it's been all winter, apparently, and we noticed this morning some little baby paw prints, see them? And I looked at the camera, and apparently they were here at about 9 o'clock last night. But they come in, and they go over to that side of the garage, and then they come here, and then they leave. We checked on the camera, and it was a little kitty friend. And it was cold, and she looked cold, so we might go follow these footprints and see if we can see her. Hopefully she found her way back to her house. Hopefully she has a house, but we might follow her footprints and see if we can figure out where this kitty went. Because I checked on her on the camera, and she looked cold. It was really cold last night, so maybe we will find her. 20 below? Yeah, it's it's 20 below right now, yeah. Yeah, it was colder last night, so we're going to go see if we can find her because I can't stop thinking about her. Yeah, so I saw the prince this morning and I got on our drop cam and checked and the poor little thing I wish we would have known she was out there last night. She didn't meow, she didn't make any noise, so we wouldn't have known. But she was doing the little paw dance thing, so we're gonna go follow these prints and see if we can see her. On top of that, Michigan's in a state of emergency and there was a fire at the consumer's energy plant last night and they're telling everybody to turn their if you have natural gas, turn your heat down to sixty five or lower. So I have the fireplace set at 65. Apparently they're worried that uh, because there was a fire at the plant that they're not gonna have enough gas to push out to everybody and if everybody doesn't turn their heat down that it's gonna overload the grid and it's supposed to be minus between minus 20 and minus 35 today. So that's a thing. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go see if we can find this little kitty. So she tried to get right there. She came in from that way. The paw prints are already gone, but she also came right here, so I might get a little warming house. See if we can catch her later, too. So there's a whole bunch of feet prints. See them right there on the edge of the road? There's some right here, too. And then got them on my side, too. She was definitely here. Probably late last night. Yeah, there, there's some right here. They look like more fresh track. They're fresher here because there was a car that already drove over this. Oh, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Keep looking. So since we were out and about and it's sunny, we decided to come down and look at the lake, which looks like Antarctica. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Though. We had all this ice that shifted like inwards. And uh, apparently the plow truck was having a little bit of fun right there. Yeah. That's how deep the snow is. <laughs> well, the drifts anyway. So we kind of drove around a little bit when it comes to the cats and we followed some footprints and there's definitely more than one cat. The cat house that I think you guys have seen in some of the videos when I've walked the dogs, Apparently that lady had a stroke and now nobody's caring for those cats. And I thought that the other shelter was supposed to be taking care of them or maybe TNR, but it doesn't look like, if, if they are, nobody's caught any of them yet. I don't really know what's going on. So I'm gonna reach out to both of them and see if I can figure out what the heck is going on. The one that we saw in front of our house is hiding under our neighbor's porch. We, fo we followed the yeah. paw prints and yeah. she's under our neighbor's porch. But we also saw what two sets of paw prints under another shed yeah there's another shed where they can get e easily they can get underneath, underneath it so. so at least they're able to get like out of the elements which is what matters like underneath that porch i'm sure that cat can get it fairly warm although it's probably a big area but we're gonna i might pick up a warming house today and put it out by our house and see if maybe we can catch at least one of these cats and try to get it out of the cold and get it somewhere but cats <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna drive around a little bit and check out our frozen tundra. That's so crazy looking. So cool though. See the clouds on the ground. Yeah, like, it's a snow squall! <laughs> so Jamie's gonna try to get some of the snow off the roof. Ah yeah, we can see it. Whoa! <laughs> Why <laughs> oh, just gonna hit you in the head? He cleared off the porch before he did this. 
Oh man. Poof. Poof. What do you think, Memphis? This is kind of cool, guys. Yeah, he cleared off the whole porch and decided to see if he could get some of that snow off our roof. <sighs> We're also making a little space over here for the cat house. I gotta go pick up. My goodness. <laughs> I seriously think Jamie's just the best person ever. He's making a little kitty house for the kitty in case she comes back. <laughs> Look at how cute it is. Oh, so yeah, so Jamie built a little kitty igloo in case the kitty comes back. I am gonna pick up a kitty house too and we're gonna put a kitty house there and then we got the kitty igloo. Maybe it'll help one of them kitties stay warm. Brr, it's cold and windy, holy man. All right, I'm back. We got some cat food. I gotta find a dish to put it in. So this is the little cat warming hut that uh, I picked up. And then this is what Jamie built. They look very similar, but now hopefully if we get more than one, they'll have a place to stay. So maybe tonight one of the kitties will come and hopefully eat some food and get warm at least. I'm hoping. Burr, it's cold. It's very windy today. I just went by the neighbor's house again and I don't see any paw prints leaving where it went underneath the porch. So I'm hoping it's just hanging out under there. I'm gonna find a little dish, put some food out, and I mean, really, that's all we can do. TNR's been contacted. The shelter that's actually open's been contacted. Supposedly, the, feral, the cats are feral feral, according to TNR, so we need a barn before we can trap them and relocate them somewhere else where somebody can take care of them. We have huskies, so they definitely can't colonize at our house. <laughs> I don't think that would end well, but we're gonna do what we can. Maybe at least hopefully keep them warm the next couple nights and maybe eventually if we find a barn home we can trap some kitties and get them to a new home. What do you think? Right? Don't scare them away when they when they come up to the window, all right? They're just trying to get warm. You girls don't know how lucky you have it. You don't. Yeah, you were built for this weather. Not all of them kitties were built for this weather. Man, oh my goodness. These girls are ready to go outside. So, kitty update. I don't know if we can see it. Oh yeah, we can see it. No little footprints yet. I was looking on the porch too. We also haven't seen her come out from the neighbors, so. I don't know if she'll use either. The box is down there too. It's like right underneath the, you can see it right by the steps there. No kitty showing up yet, so I don't know. I don't know if she'll come back or not. I'm gonna let you out. A little bit ago, something shook the entire house, and I didn't know what it was, and I posted on Facebook and asked if anybody else's house shook, and a couple other people said they felt it. Could have been a frost quake, which I didn't even know was a thing, but apparently it's a thing. I don't, I don't know if that's what it was, but... Uh, there's no other explanation for the entire house shaking. It was really weird. <laughs> you want to go outside. It's minus 12. Alexa, what's the temperature? Right now, it's minus 4 degrees. Oh, it's minus Today, 4. Expect a high of 15 degrees. Memphis is like, I thought we were going outside. Alexa, what's the wind chill? Currently, the wind chill is minus 17 degrees. Oh, it's Today, minus 17. Like 14 degrees. Wow, come on, it's minus 17. It's colder than I said it was. Let's go, let's totally go outside and play with that. We're not really gonna go play in it. You guys are just gonna go potty so we can go to bed, right? Oops, I forgot to hit the switch. I flipped the wrong switch, right? Let's go outside. Minus, wow, that handle's cold. Minus 17. And I hope that cat is, it was at the neighbor's house. I hope it's still over there and I hope it's warm. The snow looks like glitter. Holy man, it is cold. It's touching the metal on the door. That was cold. Burr, go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. For real? Go to bed. <laughs> what do you think I, I'm not faking. I'm not faking. You really have to go to bed. Shelby, go to bed. <laughs> what, was that? what was that all about? Did you think I was faking? Memphis is down here waiting patiently for her cookie. Shelby's like, oh, you're just faking. I wasn't faking, honey. 
That wasn't bacon. We're going to bed. We hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching. As always, stay positive, dream big, and we'll see you again soon. Good night, audience. Let's hope, uh, let's hope that little poor kitty stays warm tonight. Maybe we'll catch her on camera again tonight. Be nice to know that she's okay. Go to bed. Get down to bed. Go to bed. Go, go to bed. This is not a drill. Go to bed. Okay, go do whatever you were going to do. I don't have any more cookies. Go to bed. If you love our huskies, come along for the ride. All you have to do is hit subscribe. Follow as we share our lives with our dogs. And join our adventures on Snow Dog Vlogs.